The American record held by Barons of Texas, Burnett of Arizona with the NCAA mark. In the middle of the pool, top two in the prelims, USC. There they are, lanes four and five, Christian Quintero, the sophomore. And yeah, they don't have a chance to win this championship overall, but this puts them into a dangerous territory for the 800 free relay coming up a little bit later. So that's lanes four and five. Our start list, though, shows that Michigan has a presence here. Look at lanes two and seven. There's Jaeger in lane seven. Yeah, Jaeger and Lanada, and then no cow swimmers here. That hurts the Bears, no doubt, if they're trying to claw their way back into this. Lanes two and seven, Michigan. Five, you know, 400 IM, we said only one returning finalist. Five of the eight from last year returned, Trey, in this, including the top three. And there is no doubt in my mind that either lane one all the way through lane eight could win this. Normally I would never say this, but here's a guy in lane eight right there, Dax Hill. He barely qualified. He just snuck into the final here. Defending champ a year ago. He got in the final by two one hundredths of a second. And he could win this. Lane one could win it. DeLuca comes in. Lane one, get this. DeLuca from Louisville comes in with the fastest time in the country this year. 132.5. Only seven tenths of a se second separates the top eight swimmers. And off to a good start is DeLuca, the junior, in lane one at the bottom. Boy, this, this one's just so hard to pick. Here's DeLuca going out for it, and, and that's kind of what he needed to do. You see him right there at the bottom of your screen. This way, at least he's breathing to his left, and he can see everybody else across the board. Once this starts to tighten up, and I think it will, then he's not going to be able to see so well. And you see Dax Hill just kind of sneaking in there a little bit, not out of it. Good bunch here in the middle. Like I said, nobody really is out of it at this point, but DeLuca is taking it to him at the halfway point. The Louisville Cardinals performer continuing to extend his lead a little bit here by more than a body length. Look at this. Look at this, what potentially could happen. He made it into the final by five one hundredths of a second, and he's got a full body length on the field. Joel DeLuca of Louisville. This would be a surprise in lane one. I, we say it was going to be a surprise, but really, it shouldn't come as a surprise. He comes in with the fastest time of anybody else here. But look at the lead, Rowdy. He continues to maintain it. He's not going to give it up. He's going to win for the Cardinals. Joel DeLuca, second NCAA title in Louisville's history. <laughs> Clap those feet, my friend. Third fastest swim in history. Only behind the Simon Burnett and the great Olympic gold medalist, Ricky Barron. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is where it, it, it takes a lot of guts to go out this fast. To go out the, with the speed he had that early. It, <laughs> I mean, he, he's got some big ones there. I'm telling you, look at this, how far ahead he is of everybody, though. And that has to give you confidence when you go into this final 50. He didn't even have to breathe to his left. He didn't need to breathe and look at anybody else. He could breathe to the wall because he had it all the way, start to finish. Look, look at this, Trey. Look at the line. And then watch his reaction. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> A great moment for Louisville swimming. He's with Cynthia. Joel, you just made Louisville so proud and history the second time ever in the history of the school winning a title. Tell me what this means to you. Well, this is just a small thing that I can do for this whole school that it gives everything to me. They're awesome. All my teammates, my coach, they support me really well. I don't know. I don't have any words. I'm just... I'm in shock. This is awesome. Well, Rowdy was talking about how you came close to maybe not even qualifying for this final, and you took it to them when it, from the very beginning. 
How did you orchestrate this? Well, to be honest, this morning I didn't swim my best. I just swim to render my, my, my heat. And I didn't know that was that close to qualify. This meet is a lot faster than the last year. So, I don't know. Uh, it was tough. You were magnificent. Thank, Thank you, you and congratulations. Much. Thank you. So Louisville, a great basketball school, maybe becoming a swimming school now as Joel DeLuca gets their second NCAA title ever. You see Michigan with Winalda in fifth, Jaeger in eighth place for the Wolverines.